Hello and welcome to a new video about simple electric circuits. Today we are going to talk about a very simple of way of how to combine two things. Yeah, we are talking about a serious circuit, a serious connection. Let's dive directly into this. Uh, what is a serious connection? So let's say we have two resistors. Yeah? So with one resistor. And we have a second resistor as well. And those two resistors are connected exactly in the way I've drawn. So in a series, one after the other. Okay. So we have here the resistor R1. And in series connection, in series circuit, R2. And as I said, we can select voltages, currents and so on, however we like. So we have here at R1, we have a certain voltage U1. And here we have a certain voltage U2. Okay. And exactly the same, here we have I. And here at R1 we have I1. And here at R2 we have I2. Okay. And at the series connection, we have a total voltage of U. This is a serial connection with all possible currents and, and, and voltages shown. Mm -hmm. And we have heard about the Kirchhoff's first law, uh, junction law. Mm -hmm. And now we also, we also said uh, whatever is inside a junction is inside a junction. does not really matter. Uh, so let's assume this here is one node, one junction. No? Node one. Let's write down Kirchhoff's first law for this node. No? For node one, we see what is going in, I, equals what is going out, I1. Okay, no? so what is going out must be what is going on, past. No? All right, for us. Now, let's see at node number 2, at junction number 2, this must should be 2. What is going in is I1. What is going out is I2. So, those two are also equal. So, what is directly following out of those two conditions, following out of Kirchhoff's first law, means I equals I1 equals I2. Yeah? This means all currents are the same. There is only one current. Yeah? And this current has to pass every element in the series connection. That's it. Yeah? Only one current. And now, let's come. I don't know if I've already mentioned it, but Ohm's law is very important. So we will formulate Ohm's law here as well. So let's say R1, at R1, U1, Ohm's law at R1, U1 equals R1 multiplied by I1. Right? The same at R2, U2 equals R2 multiplied by I2. And since we know that, that all currents are the same, this is actually exactly the same as R1 multiplied by I. And this is actually exactly the same as R2 multiplied by I. Mm -hmm. And now let's think about let's think about the potentials. Uh, so here have we here we have potential phi zero, here we have potential phi one, and here we have potential phi two. Okay. And the voltages between potentials, the voltage is potential difference. Yeah? So we say u one equals phi zero minus phi one. Right. 
and we say u2 equals v1 minus v2. Potential difference is voltage. We talked about this. And now let's see what is u1 plus u2. Let's have a look at the potentials. V0 minus V1, this is U1, plus V1 minus V2. This is gone, equals V0 minus V2. And actually, if you look at this, V0 minus V2 is the difference. This volt, this is this voltage, this is U. This is U. Alright? So U actually is U1 plus U2. Now let's get this into uh, equals R1 multiplied by I plus R2 multiplied by I. This here is U1. This is U2. Now, I can write it like that. This is R1 plus R2 multiplied by I. And now I substitute this yeah, and call it just R. R multiplied by I. And now have a look. U equals R multiplied by I. This is again... This is again Ohm's law. Said it is important. So actually, if we want to replace this series connection with just one element, just one element, yeah? So replacement would look like that. R. So right here, replacement. Substitute, uh, replacement substitute, substitute of, of series circuit. So those two resistors shall be replaced by one resistor, substituted by one resistor, which if I only look at the current and the voltage cannot be cannot be distinguished from the original circuit. So it behaves exactly the same. If we want to reach this, we have to say R equals R1 plus R2. And if we would extend this to more than two R's, plus R3 plus and so on. Right? So this is the substitution value of a substitution resistor in a series connection in a series circuit. There's probably a reason why it's a series circuit, but for calculating, for calculating this network, we can say it's behaving like those two would be together and we simply have to build the sum. Yeah? And if it's three up, it is three in a row, then we build the sum of three. If it's ten in a row, we build the sum of ten. Right? Serious circuit, serious connection. Next video we are going to talk about a different type of connection. Who says there's only one way for, to go from A to B? Yeah? Usually there are more ways from A to B on the road and also in electric circuits. If there is a two-way, for instance, this thing is called parallel circuit or parallel connection. How to deal with parallel connection is topic of the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.